just out here and I'm ready to make some rockin' robots with you today. We're gonna be using some elements of art which are going to be color, line, and shape. And we're going to get started with some markers and Sharpie and a pencil and paper. And I hope you're ready to make some robots with me. Let's get arting. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start drawing a robot. Get ready with your paper and pencil. Today, I am going to use a Sharpie so that you can see the lines a little bit better. Now remember, your robot can look different than my robot because I look different than you. So you look different than me and your robot can have any characteristics and any shapes and lines that you would like to use. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get ready. We're going to draw the robot. First, I'm going to start with my rectangular head. So I'm gonna make a rectangle and I'm gonna make sure I have enough space on the top so that that way I can create any kind of cool top on his head. See, as you can see right here, he's got like this cool little antenna up there. So I wanna leave a space and a gap there to do that. All right, next, I'm going to make his ears. If robots had ears. And now I'm going to make his antenna on top, okay? So, a rainbow. And now two lines on top, a one and a two. Remember, if I go too fast, art students, you may pause the video. Now I'm gonna make his side antennas. Now you don't have to make these details like I told you before. If you have some other creative, awesome ideas, then go for it. Do those creative, awesome ideas. And now I'm gonna make his eyeballs. So I'm gonna do one circle, and then I'm gonna do another circle, framing it out like that. And I hope you're noticing we're using definitely a lot of those art elements. We're using shape today and line. You can see all the cool things that we're using while we're making our robots. I'm going to give him a circle nose this time. He had like a rectangle one in the other one. And then I'm going to give him his mouth. It's a long rectangle. I'm going to put some teeth inside. Boom, 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 boom. And you can see in this one, I did a little bit of a different mouth. It's like two rectangles just put together. These are really fun to do because you can really basically do a lot of different ways and a lot of different things you can add to your robot to make it. Boop. I'm going to make one more line. Boop. Boop on both sides. And another line to close it off. All right, so now we've got our head and our neck and we're gonna start his body. So I'm gonna start way out here and I'm gonna try to touch my line here and go over and try to make it symmetrical, which means it's the same on both sides, but mine usually isn't perfectly symmetrical. Now we're gonna go down and make come down and make his body on both sides. Now I'm gonna go straight across. Okay, and let's start doing the arms. So I'm gonna give him like two lines here and across, kind of like I did his ears. Two lines and across. Now I'm gonna make his arm come out. So you can make two different kinds of arms. One of the arms I like to make is like this. Then the other one you could just make like this. So I'm gonna make both of them. So he's gonna have two different kinds of arms, which is gonna be kind of cool. So I'm gonna come down. So you guys can see both ways. And then I'm gonna make a line across like that. Okay, down, down, and across. And now I'm gonna get all these details and all they are are just lines. This is to make it kind of bendy. You know, their arms have to be bendy. So this is gonna be able to give them those joints that move. All right, next I'm gonna give him his little claw. So I'm gonna come down and down. 
Match it up again, down and down. Then you got it, we gotta close off the ends. And there you go, you got your hand. Now the other one I'm gonna do here is like this. So there's sections, okay? So we can do that one now. So if you'd rather have that arm, you come down and then down, keeping a little bit of a gap there. So you got a space for your arm and across. Boop, boop, and across. Let's make his forearm. So we're gonna come, it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the top, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. He looks different. Come down, down, and across. Down, down, and across again. So we're making lots of rectangles and squares and circles here. Let's come down to make his claw down. Same as we did on the other side, and down. Kind of looks like a rainbow. And then we do the parallel line, which is a line that doesn't intersect, and it kind of matches the other line. It's going the same direction, okay? Now I'm gonna make his chest details. So I'm gonna make a big a rectangle inside. Dun, 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 dun. And now I'm gonna make some buttons. The beep, beep, boop, boop buttons. And I'm gonna make a rectangle for the other buttons by just making lines in them. Now, if you wanted to make it look like a dial, you can make some a straight cross line like that so it's like a turning knob. Now I'm gonna make his, wa his waist. So I'm gonna come down, come down, Go over, go over. And now here comes his legs, his big legs. So I'm gonna come down, come down, come down, come down, and across, and across. Crossover line. And then you got it. We're gonna make one of these rectangular joint things. So go down, go down, go down, go down. And then close it off and close it off. Now we're gonna make towards the feet. Out, out, down, and out. Notice it kind of curves out a little bit, giving them some strong feet. And now I'm gonna make a line straight across. Down, 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 and a line straight across, and a line straight across, and down, 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 and the line straight across, and the line straight across. And now I'm gonna actually give it some zigzaggy on the bottom for some um, grip, but you don't have to do this part, it's totally up to you. I did like really spiky ones there, can you see them? And then this one I'm doing like a wavy one give you some different ideas. Now, here comes the fun part. Now, you guys, this is my ground line because I want them on the ground. If you didn't want them on the ground, you want them floating in outer space, go ahead and put his little fire on the bottom. It looks like he's floating in space or whatever you want to add. You can totally add any kind of creative things. Yesterday it was super cool. One of my students added a muffin inside of their robot, so he was like a baker. A baker robot. So that was really cool. I really loved that. Um, you can add some shading lines if you'd like to to give it some cool little texture and some reflection lines. Just make it your own however you want. It doesn't have to look like mine like I said because you guys are awesome and unique in your own way and your robots are going to reflect your awesomeness, okay? All right, so now you're gonna color. Now I colored mine in a different way. I colored mine um, with markers. I did a lot of like lines uh, for my coloring. I didn't fully color it all in, but you could fully color it all in with whatever um, supplies you have at home. And uh, it's really fun to do these lines and try that out. It's kind of like pop art. 
So um, I'm gonna get to coloring and I'm gonna go quickly and then you can see the finished result. All right, I hope you have fun arting. See you next time. <laughs>to touch up on a few things that I forgot to mention the last time is if you look closely and the lines are going this way and this way that's called cross hatching and a lot of artists use it for shading and different reasons to add texture and just the straight lines that's called hatching so cross hatching crossing over hatching just straight lines and you can see that I named my robot. It's one of my most favorite things to do to all of my art pieces. I like to name them, whether it be a character or whether it be just my art project in general. Uh, most of the uh, most famous artists do name their art projects or their art um, pieces, their masterpieces. So my robot's name today is Ram the Robot. And this one was Rumble. And this one was Rudy. I hope you guys had fun making robots today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And keep arting.